Hey kids, my name is Brian and today we are going to talk a little bit more about Jesus. This time we're going to learn about a time when Jesus was tempted. You can follow along by turning to Mark chapter 1 verses 12 and 13 in your Bible. Question, have you ever been tempted before? Like maybe you were tempted to sneak a cookie right before dinner or maybe you were even tempted to cheat on a quiz at school or you could have been tempted to keep picking on your kid sister, even though your mom told you not to. Well, here's the thing, you're not the only one. In fact, did you know that Jesus was tempted also? This happened when he went out into the wilderness. He went there to pray and to get ready for the work that God wanted him to do. The Bible tells us that this was when the devil came out and tried to tempt Jesus. Spoiler alert though, you don't have to worry. Jesus is so much stronger than the devil. When Jesus was in the wilderness, the devil came and said to him, if you are the son of God, then tell these stones to become loaves of bread. But Jesus said, no, people do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from God. Do you know why the devil was talking about bread? It was because Jesus had not eaten for a super long time. He was hungry and so the devil tried to tempt Jesus with bread because he thought that that might work, but it didn't. Then the devil tried to get Jesus to jump off of a building. He said, if you are the son of God, jump and the angels will catch you. But Jesus said, no, people are not supposed to test God. Did you notice that the devil was trying to trick Jesus with the Bible? He was trying to get Jesus to believe that God didn't love him. Good thing Jesus already knew that God loved him so much. He didn't have to test that because all he had to do was trust it. Do you trust that God loves you no matter what anyone says? It's true. The Bible tells us that God loves the world and that includes you. And finally, the devil took Jesus to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world. Then he offered to give it all to Jesus if he just bowed down and worshiped him. Jesus said, no, get out of here, Satan. I will only worship God. That would be like you going to your own house and telling your mom and dad that you would give them all the stuff in the house if they would let you stay up late and watch a movie. They would never fall for that because all of that stuff is theirs already. And since Jesus is God, the creator of the entire universe, do you really think Jesus would fall for that trick? Nope. Finally, the devil went away and angels came to take care of Jesus. To help you better imagine this story, check out this video. Come and see the temptation of Jesus. This is Jesus, hey who is the son of God and the savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, where he grew in wisdom and favor with God and man. Oh, I see. Jesus was baptized by John, and God showed John that Jesus was his chosen one. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness among the wild animals. For 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus didn't eat anything. So he was hungry. Satan came to him and said, Hey, if you are the son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus knew God's word, and so he answered, No, the word of God says people don't live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And so Jesus passed the first test. <laughs> then Satan took him to Jerusalem and said, If you are the son of God, jump off. Oh, what? For the word of God says he will order his angels to protect you and they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Wait. But Jesus said, the word of God also says, 
you must not test the Lord your God. Ow. And so Jesus passed the second test. <laughs> so Satan took him to the peak of a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and all their glory. Satan said, I will give it all to you if you kneel down and worship me. But Jesus said, Get out of here, Satan, for the word of God says you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. <laughs> then Satan went away and angels came and took care of Jesus. And so Jesus passed the third and last test. We are learning about this story today because it's the beginning of Lent. Can you say Lent with me? One, two, three, Lent. Great job. Lent is a time where we prepare for Easter. On Easter, we celebrate the incredible news that Jesus came back to life. It's the most important day for Jesus followers. In fact, Easter is even more important than Christmas. Because Easter is so important, we take time to prepare for it. That is what Lent is. It's a time to prepare. So, how do we prepare? Jesus followers all around the world spend extra time thinking about God, praying to God, listening for God, and reading about God in their Bible. A lot of the time, people even give something up to make more time to pray and listen for God. Uh, sorry kids though, you don't get to give up your homework. <laughs> we do this because that was what Jesus did in the wilderness. He spent 40 days in the wilderness thinking about God, praying to God, listening for God, and thinking about the words of God, the same words that we can still find in our Bibles. Can you guess how many days Lent is? I'll give you a second. Think about it. If you said 40, you would be correct. Jesus went to the wilderness because he knew that he needed God. He wanted to trust God's love and he knew that he needed God's help. Bottom line, Jesus knew that he needed God, and so do we. Think about that as we sing this song. Antioch kids, you are so loved.